let's take out the tubes, shall we? Okay, so we've got nice charbroiled JJ6550s. This one's discolored on the label. That could either mean that the tube was bad or it's the heat damage from the fire. Let's see. Another one here. That's got a different kind of discoloring on the label. And this one's relatively clean on there. So according to our service tag, we serviced it in 2008, but we never used JJ power tubes. So there's a good chance, especially 6550, so there's a good chance that the discoloration on the label is not from the fire, but it might be from them being biased improperly because we didn't install these tubes and we don't know who biased it. The tubes being in the sockets and the pins being, uh, the tubes being in the socket is gonna to tend to protect the sockets from the oxidation and the, and the heat from the fire. And if you look at the preamp tube sockets, you see the same thing. They're pretty clean underneath the tubes. And again, look at the the um, the printing on the tubes is not discolored, and that means that the discoloration on the power tubes was from them being biased too hot, not from the heat from the flames. Otherwise, the printing on the preamp tubes would also be discolored. And if you look at the filter capacitors, they've got gunk on them, but the plastic isn't melted, so we don't have a, a lot of heat damage that we're looking at in here. We're just looking at can we clean it up enough to make it work. This may not be as big of a challenge as I originally thought. We'll find out next time.